Y'all, meet the very first ever black woman to sit on the Michigan Supreme Court. Ah! Kyra Harris Bolden. Yes, the first in its 185 year history. Yes, I did not even know about this. My daddy told me. Thank you, daddy. Listen, you all. Her great grandfather was lynched in Tennessee. He asked a merchant for a receipt. They beat him, castrated him, which means they removed his genitalia and lynched him and that lit a fire in her black female justice has finally been sworn on to the state's highest court for the first time in its 185 year history and that i will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of supreme court justice of the office of supreme court justice according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability that is Justice Kyra Harris Bolden. Her appointment comes at a very significant time for Michigan Supreme Court. Just last year, the court had a number of key decisions. They ordered an abortion rights initiative to appear on the November ballot. They banned discrimination against LGBTQ people and ruled that one-person grand juries cannot issue indictments against state officials. That's a big deal, and it led to charges being dismissed against the former governor in connection with the Flint water crisis. So this term, the court also has a lot on its plate, and Justice Bolden's appointment is not only historic. Wait until you hear the story of her journey and her family's legacy of injustice in the hands of the legal system. One day this little girl came to me and said, Miss Kyra, Miss Kyra, can girls go to college? Wow. And I looked at her and I said, yes, I'm a girl, I'm in college. And she turns to the little girl next to her and says, see, I told you. Little girls saw themselves in Kyra Harris Bolden. This has been a long journey for all of us. Today, for the first time, they can look up and see what else they could be. Kyra will be the first black woman ever to serve on the Michigan Supreme Court. Kyra. And with that, history was made as Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer appointed Bolden to the state's highest court. 185 years we've never had an African-American woman on the state's highest court. It's about damn time. It's just been an honor. Um, and just 